All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I am going to take this image and I'm going to make this image extremely large. It is a cut and print image. So it's going to print on my printer and then I'm going to cut it out in my cutting machine on my Cricut Maker. But I'm going to make it much larger than the cut print size in Cricut Design Space by using Slice. Okay, so you would bring your image in the normal way by going to upload, clicking upload image, browsing, and finding your image. Okay, so none of that has changed. That's the same process. Once you get your image on your canvas in Cricut Design Space, you want to unlock it and then make it just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Okay, she's a cutie. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna take this image and I'm gonna get it all the way up in that top left corner. So I can see, I can see. Okay, so I have her at a width of 4.03 and a height of 7.804, but I want her extremely large. So right now I don't have any issues with cutting and printing within Cricut Design Space. However, if I were to blow her up past the 6.75, 9.25 size restrictions in Cricut Design Space, I'm just gonna show you here. So if I go here, I'm gonna get an alert over here on my right-hand side. And so those of you that have followed me for a while or in my group, you know that this is the um, alert to let you know that your image is too large for a cut and print within Cricut Design Space. And that's when we all go, oh man. All right, so I'm just gonna click undo and get her back down to a size that is acceptable in Cricut Design Space. All right, so I have her at a width of 4.167 and a height of 8.63, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this image two more times. So I'm right clicking and duplicating. Hey, little cute girl. Hey, little cute girl. All right, I'm gonna bring this over where it's fairly, looks like it's touching, but it's not. All right, so now we have her on our screen three times, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a shape and we're gonna use a square in this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice her three times so that we can play around with the size um, in the Cricut Design Space, all right? But we wanna slice her where it's natural, meaning that we won't have any issues um, when we get ready to put her together because we're going to have to piece her together just like layering when you're using vinyl, okay? So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit and I want to make sure I have all of her hair, all her hair, honey. All right, so I'm just going to go over this way like that. I'm going to try to get it about right there without touching the other, okay? So I'm going to hold it there, and then I'm going to got to make sure I got all of her. Hey, y'all. Got to get all her hair. All right, so she's not touching here. So... What I'm going to do now is take that square and I'm gonna right click and duplicate it. And I'm gonna go over and this time I want my square to line up with where this one left off, okay? So I want it to line up with where that one left off but not touching, okay? And I don't want it to go over into the next one, all right? So we're gonna unlock the proportions here on this square 
So we can try to bring it over just a tad without going too far. I might have to move her over just a little bit. All right. That's good. All right, so what we have is when we slice, it's going to slice right here and we'll have the head up. When we slice this one, it's going to pick up where this one left off, okay? So we're going to now right click and duplicate again, get another square, and this time we wanna make sure that that square picks up where the other left off. We're just gonna scroll over here and we wanna make sure we have all all of her remaining part in there. Okay, it's gonna look a little awkward, but you guys will realize what I'm trying to do here in just a moment. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna take my first image along with that square that's associated with it, and I'm going to slice. Okay, so I don't need the lower half of her body. I don't need this black square here. And I don't need this one. Now I have her face. This one, I'm gonna highlight the image and along with the square. And I'm gonna slice again. I already have her face. So I can go ahead and highlight that and delete it with the body. And then I'm gonna delete this square and delete this square. And that's gonna give me the lower half of her body. Not lower half, but you know what I'm saying. I'll try to get this where no issues. Okay, and now we're going to take the third one along with its square and we're going to slice. Now we have where we can delete the top half and the extra squares in black, and then we can bring it over and we have her in a complete image okay so i am going to just make sure everything looks like it's lined up and it does looks good all right so this is where the tricky part comes in this is where you're now going to make her larger so i'm not going to increase the width i want to increase the height so i'm going to put the height at six inches okay and then I'm going to, um, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Sorry, guys. I don't want our head that big. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her um, height at about a good five. Let's see what that looks like. All righty. So we have her width at 6.969 and her height at five. And what we're going to do is we're gonna put the middle half of her body on a five as well and see what that looks like. And we just wanna see if we line it up, if it looks right, and we may have to adjust the proportions just a bit, but we'll take a look here. So we're going to unlock the proportions here on the left hand side just so that we can line her up and all i'm doing is just dragging the four arrows i'm dragging it over to the right so that i can get it lined up okay, so you're just kind of playing with it just a little bit and there we go. That looks good. All right. So now I'm going to put her feet at a height of, I'm going to say six inches and see what that looks like. And I may have to adjust it. So she's now have just the legs by themselves at six inches. And again, we're going to go and click on the unlock proportions on the left hand side and then use the four arrows. And we're going to adjust it down to make it fit her little body here, or in this case now, a bigger body, a big old body. That looks good. All right. So 
So now we have her in three pieces. You can't really tell on the screen where we have sliced her up. Everything looks good. So at this point, we are ready to click on make it. And when I click on make it, it's going to give me her in three pieces. So it's going to um, print out her head. Then it's going to print out, excuse me, it did her body first. It's gonna print out the middle half of her body. Then it's gonna print out her head. And then it's going to print out the lower half of her body. And then once it prints all three of these out, I'm gonna cut it on my cutting machine. Each one I'm gonna put on a mat, put it in my cutting machine and have my Cricut to cut it out. And then I'm gonna piece her together. So this is more for an advanced user, guys. I know I do a lot of videos on you know, new, uh, if you're new to Cricut Design Space, if you're new to utilizing your cutting machine. So I wanna start adding some, um, a little bit more complicated videos for those that, you know, wanna challenge themselves for the new user or for the ones that are no longer new users, but wanna um, try something a little bit more challenging than what they've been doing. So I'm going to finish up here and then I will show you the finished product by placing a picture of it in the group, okay? So if you're not a member of my uh, Facebook group, then the group is called Candoris' Cricut and Creative Crafters. We'd love to have you join. And if you are not currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can find me under Doris Edwards. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel there. Also hit the bell notification because I do post videos frequently on all different types of crafts, not always just Cricut Design Space and using a cutting machine. Um, but if you hit that bell notification, you'll be made aware of any time I upload a video to YouTube. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. As always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And stay tuned so you can see the finished product. Bye, guys.